George Norcross has been the state's most powerful unelected Democrat for decades. Nothing significant in South Jersey gets done without his input. So it was stunning yesterday when Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop put out a statement attacking Norcross for meddling in the Atlantic City crisis. Fulop accused Norcross of pushing for a state takeover out of personal interest. Norcross replied in a statement that Fulop had begged him for support in next year's governor's race and not getting it has become unhinged. Norcross was not available, but Fulop came into our studio today. Mayor, that was a pretty audacious statement you issued yesterday. Why did you do it? Uh, I thought it's the truth. And at the end of the day, um, when you look at what's happening with regards to Atlantic City and Jersey City and how they've roped Jersey City and my involvement into this Atlantic City takeover, I thought pointing out the facts in the situation would lend some clarity to residents across New Jersey. What it says to me is that there's war in the Democratic Party in this state between the North and the South. Look, I, I look at it a different way. I say that uh, if you're going to change New Jersey and you're going to change places like Atlantic City, uh, the biggest cleanser to this is sunlight. And uh, pointing out to the public what a lot of people are either scared or cautious about saying is true, both regards to um, George Norcross's involvement and the governor's involvement and the direction of the state takeover and where Jersey City fits into this and where the direction of the state is going as a result of that. What is George Norcross's involvement as you see it? Look, I, I mean, I think there's an obvious question. I think when you have an insurance broker who is non-elected uh, drafting legislation, then lobbying for it, and he has a track record of making tens of millions of dollars off taxpayer dollars, it begs the question is why is he involved and why are people listening to him? And uh, like I said in the statement yesterday, there are parts of Trenton that are rotten to the core. And uh, if you are going to improve Atlantic City, those are the things that need to change first. Explain that rotten to the core. Yeah. Um, what's rotten to the core? Well, I, I, I think that people have made a tremendous amount of money off uh, of perceived public service or uh, involvement in government. I think that uh, there's a track record, as I touched on before, of uh, using tools of government, sometimes law enforcement, sometimes other tools, tools to intimidate people. Um, and I think that this is the best example when you have an insurance broker actively drafting legislation that will impact billions of dollars. It is a concern. He's been the leader of the South Jersey Democrats oh, for oh. 30 years. At, once, at one point, he was an elected county chairman. That ended quickly. But... Um, a lot of people think he's been a force for good in putting but, South Jersey on the map. Well, who would argue that it's a force for, uh, a force for good? And and why would who you would say? He, he, well, let me ask you this: People in the argue. South would no, argue. No, I, I would I would beg to differ with Democrats that point. in the legislature would, would well, argue. Well, look, he's put most of those in office, and he controls a lot of them. That's the that's the truth of this situation. I think you'd be hard pressed to find residents of South Jersey that say that it makes sense to have a non-elected insurance broker being the leader of the South Jersey. That's what you, that's the truth. So when you say that some people would argue that fact, I don't know where that would be in reality. You say that uh, he's written the bill. Has he written the Senate Look, takeover I mean, bill? Here, here's, here's the reality, is that he doesn't shy away from the fr fact that he's been heavily involved in drafting it. He's driving around How the state. How do you know that? Well, because, I mean, he's driving around the state of New Jersey actively twisting and lobbying legislators. That's a fact. He went into the 11th district he in went Monmouth into County? Multiple, multiple. Multiple. Over this past look, weekend. I, you know, I can't speak to all of them that he's been into, but he's been into multiple ones. So, I mean, look, it, it begs the question. You know, if you want to argue that he is the leader of the South Jersey, then why is a non-elected leader in that, a non-elected individual in that position? I mean, there's something wrong with that structurally, no question about it. The takeover bill is being pushed by Governor Christie, Norcross, and Senate President Steve Sweeney. An alternate plan is being pushed by Assembly Speaker Vincent Prieto. It's up for an Assembly vote tomorrow. Prieto is a Fulop ally, and the other side accuses the Speaker of trying to further Mayor Fulop's ambitions. At a press conference today, Sweeney was asked about Fulop's attack on Sweeney's ally Norcross. He should look in a mirror. He's the mayor of Jersey City. You know, he's got all kinds of problems in his own city. Sweeney, like Fulop, is planning a run for governor. If you look at his city government, you'll look at all the patronage and all the contracts that he's done over the years, right? I mean, it's been reported. I read about it all the time. Mm -hmm. Sweeney finds Fulop's sudden interest in Atlantic City suspect. Do you see any other mayors? <coughs> 
Do you see anyone else? I mean, really. You know, I mean, you see any, you know, you don't see any other mayors injecting themselves except this is politics, Charlie. Fulop's statement defied convention. There's a kind of etiquette of political discussion that I think you violated yesterday. Um, these things are said privately. Uh, one Democrat does not fire arrows at another Democrat. Well, let me say, it's first of all, why are they said privately? Everybody thinks it, okay? And a lot of people know it, and um, a lot of people are scared to say it. And like I said, if you are going to change the state of New Jersey, if you are going to change Atlantic City for the positive, sunlight is important. Asked whether Norcross has been a force for good in the city of Camden, as some say, Fulop said, ask Camden residents. So basically what you're saying is that Norcross is a force for ill rather than for well, good. Look, I, I think it's not, it's not good or bad. I think he's self-interested, okay? Um, his interests are George Norcross's interests. I think that's where it starts and that's where it ends. Um, and I you think don't think he's trying to get good Democrats look, elected, look, moderate Democrats elected? I think it is very suspicious when you have a non-elected insurance broker drafting legislation, lobbying for legislation, dictating legislation. That should be an alarm for anybody in this country. As for begging Norcross? And begging for his endorsement, that happens to be not be true. If he decided to endorse you, would you accept his endorsement? I'm not going down that road. Endorse me for what? For re-election for mayor? For I governor. Mean, no, I'm not down that road yet. I'm not down that road yet. I don't expect that to happen. He says the answer on Atlantic City is compromise. I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.